Dogman, an elusive and mysterious creature, one of many cryptids known to inhabit the United States. In today's documentary, a cryptozoologist and his team will investigate a sighting of the Dogman. We travel to Oregon and meet Gerald, who was an eyewitness of the creature. For many years, Dogman has eluded science and capture and discovery, but today we will make the true fact or fiction. Join us in the Dogman Documentary. I'm driving down the spot where I'm getting interviewed about the dog man sighting I had quite some time ago, but it was this year, I had it quite some time ago, like a few months. But right now, we're just about there. I'm gonna meet up with this cryptozoologist, uh, John, about my encounter. So, yeah, we're just about there. My name is Daryl, and I am an eyewitness of a dog man. Well, so we've got some questions here for me. So, what happened when you encountered the dog man? So when I saw the dog man, I was out making uh, some moonshine. Don't tell the cops about that, but I was sitting hey. up in my stand cooking up some good old moonshine, you know. And uh, out walks this big old beast. He, it was like a wolf walking on its hind legs. And it started growling and howling at me, and I tried to protect myself. I put my, I took my pistol out, and I tried to blast that son of a bitch, but he came flying at me with his claws, and I got a big old scar. Let me show you, right here, on my knee. You can see that's a scar from his claws. See that? All right. Yeah. Anyways, so it comes charging at me. This damn thing is so big and strong. I couldn't even move. He had me down, and he was just scratching and clawing at me. It was, it was a miracle I got out of there alive. But anyways, that night, me and my buddies had a little moonshine, but yeah. Describe what it looked like in detail. So it looked like a wolf. I mean, I don't know what else it would look like. It looked like a human, but I had like human-esque legs, but it had those weird bent wolf-like stance, you know? It's got like a weird squarish shape to the ankle, you know? And, uh... I think that's one now. Keep it rolling. We might get one on film. Okay, you can put the camera back. I think we're fine. Probably just a woodpecker or something but anyways uh it, it was tall it was like seven foot tall it was a tall 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 creature uh bigger than 
anything I've seen in the woods. Uh, you know, it was like gray fur, so it was like maybe a gray wolf or something. I don't know. Uh, it looked like a man. It had like the muscular uh, composition of a man, you know? Uh, interesting. It was a weird thing. So I'll bet give you nightmares. Do you have any side effects mentally or physically from the sighting? Uh, I had a few nightmares and I had a few night terrors, you know, kind of the regular, regular old shit. Uh, anyways, I did have a broken ankle. He was so damn heavy, he broke my ankle when he stepped on me. With massive paws. Uh, I think that's just a tree. Or maybe a buck oh. rubbing off his velvet. Yeah, it's the time of the year to do that. I'm getting into hunting season too, but I'm gonna get me a big old buck. Anyways, besides that, uh, I just, I did have bad night terrors. I, sometimes I'd get so drunk that I'd hallucinate that the goddamn wolf man was back in my backyard and it scared the ever living shit out of me. But I was hung over the next morning and I noticed I wasn't hallucinating. There were big old paw prints in my backyard. And there was breath marks. Like, you know your dog gets up in the window, he's got slobber marks all over. I saw that same exact thing. I don't own no dog. I used to, my hunting dog, but I don't know what happened to him. He ran off one night. But anyways, he was looking in my window. He's probably salivating all over it, thinking about nice, tasty uh, Gerald morsel, you know, a Gerald steak. Was your dog kind of a gray color? No, this was way after my dog uh, dog ran off, you know. Uh, he ran off a couple months ago. This event happened like, I don't know, like a month or so ago. My dog ran off at the start of the year. So like, in January, my dog was gone, but in March, the, uh, the critter came around and slobbered my window. Huh. How did it move? Is it on its hind legs or on all fours? Uh, both. It came charging out on all fours and then stood up, started climbing into my stand, and he got up the top of the ladder. He's so dang smart. He got up that ladder in a quick jiffy, but he got up there, you know, and... He, uh, he got up there and he stood up all tall and big and it was really intimidating. He's obviously a big predator. Uh, so, all fours and hind legs, yeah. Does this general area ever stand so I can go hunt for him? Oh, uh, I got a map in my truck, but I can show you. Uh, be careful. Thank you for your time. Tonight I'm going to go investigate your spot. Sure thing. I'll see you all later, man. saw the wolf man. Now we're gonna go hunt it. for night time so we'll just have to rely on this spotlight and, and my his headlamp. headlamp eventually I can get a better camera So far, nothing. Maybe higher up in these woods. Maybe we won't find anything tonight. Yeah, 
there's a good chance we won't. Yeah, we might find it. We may never find Let's it. Let's go down the trail down here. So now, me and John are gonna go down on this trail next to this old house. Must be Gerald's property. Full moon tonight. So of course, there's gonna be some dogmen out. Maybe next time we hunt, we can make sure it's not as dark. except for that weird eye shine back there. Uh, looking down on these bushes and stuff, I don't see anything. Unfortunately, I will not be filming tomorrow. We'll have a different cameraman with a bigger spotlight, and we will have a thermal camera tomorrow. So we're gonna go see if we can stay at Gerald's place. And in the morning, we'll look around and see if anything has changed. Good night, guys. Hey, Gerald. Oh, here we go. I was wondering if me and Mark could um stay here tonight. Oh, We're sure thing. Out for the Wolfman. Come on in. The Wolfman might get you. Come on, dog. So, what'd you see outside my house tonight? Oh, uh, we saw some ice shine. Some ice shine. A couple crashes. Interesting. Is there a Wolfman out there? Probably we saw eyes shine that looks kind of like eyes of a dog. Their eyes reflect red. What did you see? Um, just, oh no, just. Oh, white? Just, yeah. I see white around here. I have no idea what that is. It could be some weird cryptid. Like the wolf man. I don't know. So. I mean, Sasquatch, their eyes reflect yellow, right? Yeah. Uh. 
and then dogs reflect green, and cats reflect green, rabbits reflect red as well. So, so the dog meant. Yeah. I'm tired, partner. Woo! Too much of me, I have a drink today. Oh. I've been sober for a week. That's good. Especially for you. I'm pretty sure you drink a lot. Man, I'm be right about that. He's a good dog. Today is day two of hunting the wolfman. Last night, we got some evidence. We heard a few rustles and we saw some eye shine, but it could have been other critters. But hopefully we see the dog man today. Tonight is the night that we are hopefully gonna find the dog man. It's the second night and I really hope we find him this time and get some footage. someone else filming. So. Okay. Move over here. Go up here. We know there's poison milk up here, so I'm not gonna come. Not see anything. Something weird in the bushes. You see it moving? It's like a red thing. It's right there.
Attacking this. You've got a dog creature on your property. A dog creature. Yeah. So the dog man's run around my place. Mm hmm. We got some FLIR footage. Footage on the FLIR camera. And. Yeah. We're gonna see what you think of it. Alright. This was the greatest piece of footage caught in this investigation we have no idea what this was we can only assume that it was what we were searching for Gerald said that it was the dog man he said it was the correct height and correct proportions but you be the judge what do you think is this the dog man or something else thank you for watching this documentary and joining us in the investigation of this elusive cryptid. Until next time.